one of the, the advantages is uh, that you can do things in a shorter time. And because you can do things in a shorter time, you can do more. You can concentrate uh, yourself more on the real objectives. In the past, students got confused by the whole equipment, by the setup. We can do it quite easily now with a computer simulation. MicroLab uh, has been developed uh, in the 70s already. By the time the students, uh, a number of students refused to do animal experiments. MicroLab's uh, is a composition of a number of programs. Uh, here we show the mouse behavior. Here we see the different behaviors and it is up to the student now to click on the different behaviors and to control later on whether or not this has been done in the right way. So this is a good way to train students in making studies of behavior in the normal situations and in situations that they have had special drugs. We can also show the symptoms, pieces of video of behavior of mice, rats, rabbits and other animals. So, for example, you can see the difference between clonic and tonic convulsions. Not a nice picture to look at, but this will not be repeated anymore. Here we see the drugs like strychnine that uh, will cause this effect. So we can look under the substances and demonstrate now the whole sequence of symptoms if you give strychnine to a rat. This is a kind of demonstration that have been shown to students I think until the 60s and after this uh, we will not show this anymore. There is a kinetic dynamic program integrated in microlabs. What we can do here is make a selection. Uh, we use a female adult and as a root we give an interperitoneal injection. For the dose we have to see what is the weight of the animal and we look, for example, after one minute, observing the motor function. We continue and see after two minutes, and it's clear that after three minutes already the animal is not moving very spontaneous anymore. So we can continue and see after, say, five minutes. Now a student has to decide uh, whether to, to continue and to wait longer or maybe to decide to add a new dose. Then there are a number of simulations of isolated tissues like the kiny pig ileum and a number of others on muscle preparations, the phrenic nerve diaphragma preparation and other preparations. And these programs are still written in DOS and can be used on any computer. Soon there will be also a new set of microlabs and windows but especially for those countries where they can use the old computers, they can use also the old microlabs. You can do things with this as you can't, what you can't do with, with a real animal.